In this lecture, we're going to continue looking at ideal gases. We're going to be looking at the theory of equipartition of energy and how we calculate the number of degrees of freedom and also at mean free path. This lecture is going to cover sections 19.8, 19.5 and 19.6 of your textbook. So it would be a good idea to have a look at those sections. So first of all, a recap of the most important things we covered last lecture. Last lecture, you saw the ideal gas law, PV is equal to nRT. This relates the pressure, volume and temperature to the number of moles where R is the gas constant, 8.314. PV equals nRT is a good form to use when you've got a lot of molecules. If you've just got one or two molecules, then it may be easier to use the second form of the ideal gas law, PV is equal to capital N KBT, where capital N here is the number of molecules and KB is Boltzmann's constant. Last lecture, we also had a look at the assumptions of the kinetic theory of gases. So you need to be aware of what those assumptions are. At the end of the lecture, we derived the definition of temperature for a gas. So temperature is proportional to the kinetic energy per molecule. So we can write temperature is equal to 2 over 3 Kb times a half MOV squared, where that's the average of the V squared. So it's 2 over 3 Kb times the average kinetic energy. And we saw that this average kinetic energy, the average speed, sorry, is given by the root mean squared speed. And so we can write that the root mean squared speed is equal to the square root of 3 Kb T on M. So that's just rearranging our formula for temperature here. So this lecture, we're going to start by looking at degrees of freedom which is a fairly difficult concept, but very important. So every kind of molecule has a certain number F of degrees of freedom, which are independent ways in which the molecule can store energy. Okay, so before we start looking at this, I want you to have a think about what ways can molecules store energy. List down all the ways that you can think of for a molecule to store energy.